Stefan, my final question for you is in terms of job seekers, do you have any tips in terms of job search preparation before applying for a job? What other things they should do besides, you know, I say networking, uh, personal branding, knowing their values, who they are, so that there's a value alignment when they're applying for jobs. So do you have any specific tips for job seekers? Sure. Well, a, a few things. I mean, first of all, you want to, when you see a, a job description that inspires you and motivates you and excites you, then, I mean, you, you, you have a couple of options. You can either just directly apply and hoping mm -hmm. that's going to work, or you want to learn more about the company itself and trying to either customize your resume a little bit or depending on, again, questions asked during the application process or on the application form, you want to probably spend a bit more time trying to craft and customize your, your message in your application. So that's one thing. The second thing is if it's a local company where you, where you reside, you may want to you know, try to connect with someone workers from employees you know, working for that company already, get to learn more about the company. Um, or even if you know it's it's a it's a well-known, well-established company within your community as a, already, then just try to learn what's the what's the feeling about the, the community at large about this specific company. If you're remote, uh, then you know online you can easily you know connect for LinkedIn, for instance, with uh, some existing existing customers. Um, I think it's always good to reach out to the hiring manager if you know who that person is going to be. Sometimes it's in the job description, not the name, but it is the title. And then you can do some research on LinkedIn and try to identify who that hiring manager is. So try to connect as much as you can mm -hmm. with uh, some key players in the organization ahead of time. Uh, and then even after you just applied so that you can try to get your resume on the top of the list. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing, as I said previously to you, a glass door is a great yeah. way to get some uh, information about organizations, mm -hmm. you know, their benefit reviews, their interview uh, review, the, their experience reviews and so forth. Uh, again, it's not 100% accurate for sure, but you get a feeling for what it's like. Um, and then just, um, you know, learn more about, about the company, learn more about you know, what kind of customers they have, yeah. even customer feedback. There are some websites available for that too. Um, so just do your research. It's um, If you're in desperate modes, um, then just send your resume in yeah. for the best. If you really want to be very picky about which type of company that you want to join, then just spend a bit more time on researching. But when they are reaching out to the hiring manager or someone in the company via LinkedIn, do you have any like... Uh, specific template or when they are sending the message saying hi stefan i know that you are hiring for this uh, for this job i saw yeah. it i'm interested or what can they say to be different because we know that a lot of time the recruiters or the hiring managers they are bombarded with this request yeah. so what can they do differently to shine you know well, if I had the magic formula, then I would probably write a book and make no a formula. minute out of it. <laughs> <laughs> However, what I would suggest, I mean, you have to stand out, right? Yeah. So um, either you try to, again, dig into like the specific, you know, person's background and story. Or uh, activity. Try to really. connect with them on a very specific uh, personal level. So whether, you know, they say they're a dog lover. Right, mm -hmm. try to connect with them talking about dogs or like a recent article that they may have written or yeah. a post that they made just to try to connect and say, hey, um, I applied for this position. I'm super interested. Can we connect? It's not going to work. You know. right? So try to be much more personal about how you want to attract their attention, yeah. draw their attention. And then hopefully, because that's how much you can control on your hands yeah. and hopefully the hiring manager would say, oh, you know what? I kind of, yeah, let's connect and learn, let's yeah. learn a bit more about this candidate. Yeah, I would say uh, to people I'm helping is that check their activities, anything they post, yes. anything they said, make a comment. And then when you're sending a message saying, I saw this article, these are my thoughts, uh, I like to connect. And, you know, just add a little bit of value or say there's a value alignment, what you're talking, I like to connect. I'm curious to know about your thoughts. 
just adding a little bit more research, I feel that like that will add and get the attention of the hiring manager or the recruiter, or even if someone is working the same role, and they can be also be a referral because a lot of times companies have referral programs and they would like to hire people, you know, from the referral program or other areas. Yes. And as you said, I mean, you know, some people are just bombarded with, you know, messages mm -hmm. on all different platforms. So they may not have the time to respond. So if they don't respond, that doesn't mean that they're ignoring you or ghosting you. Uh, however, when they do respond, you do see that they actually take the time to respond to at least some requests, right? So I think that gives you a better idea of yeah. how human mm -hmm. they are about reaching out. Yeah. Uh, but again, if they don't reach out, that doesn't mean that you're being ignored, it's just that they may have other priorities mm -hmm. or, or it could just be an internal policy. Like I know that organiza some organizations have a very strong, strict sorry, policy in the place where if you're a hiring manager and you're approached by a candidate, you cannot respond until the candidate is vetted by our recruiting team. Yeah, yeah. Right? So those are, again, those are great tips. If they don't respond, maybe find another way, maybe uh, follow the company, contribute, uh, be a thought leader. There's a lot of way to approach, but I don't feel that just applying will get you anywhere. It's not, it's not like uh, hopefully uh, praying because we have a lot of uh, people are applying to the same jobs this day. So you need to shine, you need to show your personality, you need to show your value. So there are different ways. And I appreciate Stefan for giving those tips. And with that, my interview comes to an end. I really enjoyed the conversation. Very, uh, very practical and applied tips you gave. And I hope the audience enjoyed and will use some of the tips you gave in their next job search. So again, thank you very much, Stefan. And for the audience, uh, tune in next time for other great guests. Bye, everyone. Bye.